<laughs> I'm gonna pass it in auto. I'm gonna pass it to you guys over there, and y'all pass oh, it. To me. Who's here, you guys? Wow. in the house. What up, dude? It's about Bizy. You're on mute. <laughs> He's too busy doing those TikTok videos. There we videos. go. There we yeah. Go. Yeah. I said we yeah. got to share. Got How's share it going, it? man? Hi, Moo. Hey, how are you? Welcome, welcome. It's where the party it's is. Fun. I know. I'm excited. You guys look like you're having fun in here. I'm ready. Yes. It's been, it's like our own virtual Zoom happy hour. It's like we're all at the bar together, but we're not. Wait, are we at the bar? Do I, need a drink? Do I need to pour up a drink or something or what? Dude, yeah, dude. Because look, everybody hold up your drinks. Show Bozzy. Yeah, we got our oh, drink. Oh, oh, oh. Let's be able to Let's get some. Let me get a little tequila on ice. I got my boy here hooking me up with a drink. What's up, everybody? How are we feeling? We're feeling good. How are you feeling, Bozzy? I'm good, man. I'm feeling good. Just trying to, you know, stay busy and uh, stay healthy in these times. Absolutely. All of us, too. And we appreciate your time and doing this with us because this is so much fun. I love this already. Yeah, We're not too. even getting into anything yet. I know. No, I like it. I like it. We should hang out all day. <laughs> I know. So what we'll do, Bozzy, is we'll go one by one. We'll introduce ourselves and then we'll introduce you to our VIPs and then we'll ask a question and we'll go from there. Okay. Beautiful. Sounds good. So Cheers. I'm Ice, and we're repping Portland. So Portland in the house. Okay. Yeah, oh, look at your background. Check you out. I see and, you. And that's my girl Keely. Keely, say hey to Bozzy. Hey, Keely. Bozzy. How are you? I'm good. I wish your background looks pretty. Yeah, to... Keely, where where are you at? Um, I'm in Albany. Albany. Okay, gotcha. That's beautiful. So, Bozzy, Keely had a question for you, and she wants to know what advice you would give to someone interested in songwriting, but is a total newbie. Like, do you have any, you know, tech uh, yeah. things that you would do, or like, do you start with voice memos? What advice would you yeah. give? Someone? Well, I'd say the, I'd say the first thing in, in getting into songwriting wouldn't be as much of the technical side. I say it's about you know really tapping into yourself as an artist and creator and finding out what's valuable and important to you and what you're trying to talk about and share with people. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome, man. So now we're gonna send it over to Krogan, Bloop! Oh, who's yeah. gonna introduce his guest and himself. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ice. What up? It's uh, Krogan in Columbia. I want to introduce Erica. E-Rock, where are you at? Hi. Hey, how are you, sweetie? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I'm pretty good. Good. Um, Erica's question, for our listeners, a lot of times it's like worlds collide when two of their favorites work together. Um, for Erica, when you worked with uh, Camila Cabello, that was a dope collab for her. Um, when you came down to hang out at the ballpark with us here in Columbia, we played a little pong. You and I talked a little bit about working with 21. And uh, Erica wants to know, is it a future artist you really want to work with? Or is there a favorite you've already um, collabed with? Yeah, um, I mean, all the people that I've worked with so far, I mean, are people I'm huge fans of and incredibly grateful, you know, to have collaborated with. But uh, there's definitely so many artists I want to work with. Um, I saw yesterday, there was this tweet on Twitter that went viral. It was like, I need Bozzy and Post Malone to make a record. So, I mean, I definitely want to work with Post. Uh, he's such a cool guy. I, anytime I've been around him, he's so humble and uh, such a fun, fun kind of energy. So, yeah, me and Post would definitely make something cool together. Man, yeah. that would sound sick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, really appreciate the time today, man. I hope uh, it's not too early wherever you're at. We're going to take oh, a man. And I'm a pastor, I'm getting drunk. Friday, let's go. This nah. one's uh, for Adlai. Coming to you, dude. Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Bozzy, I'm enjoying my Bozzy teeny right now. Hey, ooh, Bozzy teeny, what's in it? I like that. I like that. It's strong. Definitely strong. That's all and, that uh, counts, we're from man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're from Bakersfield, California, just up north. And uh, this is Siza Gale. She's Hi. my guest over here at Energy. Oh, amazing. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> out. And we have 20 questions for you. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. We had a bunch. But we narrowed it down to the one. Uh, uh, and he's on quarantine right now. What are you binge watching? 
So I, I finished like, you know what? A lot of the shows that I was into, like I've ran through. So I, I finished Game of Thrones. I finished Breaking Bad. I finished uh, Tiger King I've seen. I finished uh, The Outsiders. I'm watching this new show, Devs, which is pretty good. It's like pretty intricate though. It's like a, you have to pay attention the whole time. But more than uh, TV, I've been watching a lot, of, uh, a lot of movies, just a lot of films, catching up on some older ones that, you know, I may have not had the patience to watch. Like, there's uh, all the Alfred Hitchcock movies from like the 40s, which are really good. They can be kind of, you know, brutal to sit through. Like, you know, if you're used to like normal movies, because they're obviously created, you know, almost 100 years ago. Um, so did Carol kill her husband? Uh, yeah, probably. I think so. But uh, yeah, man, just catching up on uh, some classic movies for sure. Can I take this one? Yeah, go for it. You should watch Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. It's on Guess Netflix right now. Is it a movie or a TV series? No, it's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, um, cool. Cool. So if you oh, like old oh yeah. Movies. That's a, I love that. I yeah. love the suggestion. Yeah, I'm on that. Yeah, excellent. Well, Bazi, cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers, and yeah. we're happy to cheers, thank you. Anthony. Of course. Yeah. Happy Friday. I'm going to catch that. I'm going to put that down. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, man. I got you. Yes, sir. What's up, man? I'm Anthony A. from Dana Cortez Show, a.k.a. Not the Married One. And I'm live from uh, Joe Exotic. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at our the winner <laughs> from San Antonio, Texas is Carla. Wow. But to continue this, I'm going to pass it over to apparently the rest of my team's in San Francisco. Yeah. Yes, right? we are. We, we are. are. We're we are. at the Golden Gate Bridge right, right now. now. Yeah, we're not wow, look at that view, guys. I'm trying to come kick it. We're rebellious <laughs> like that. No, Bozzy, first of all, thanks for doing this. Our question comes from Carla. But on the movie theme, we're doing uh, the best – 420 movies. For four I have. The, I actually have the greatest 420 movie. I have the greatest one. I do. I do. But it, it's this one would be intense. It's a. Uh, it's a movie called Enter the Void. I don't know if anybody's seen it. Um, yeah. This will. This will jack up your 420. It's. It's a very. It's not like a like a Harold and Kumar type like giggly movie. It's kind of like horrifying, but also it's like the trippiest movie that's ever existed. All right, so there's one for you. I want you to, you, since you like classic films, Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke, 1978. Check that one out, and then we picked Friday as our number one. Friday's a good one. Friday's probably. Right, so our question comes from Carla, and she's just such a, she's a great, great person. She listens to our radio station, Energy 941 in San Antonio, every day. And can Carla, will you say hello to Bozzy? Hi, I'm right here. Hey, sweetie, how are you? I'm good. That's good. I like the pictures. Am I am I in any of those pictures on your wall? Um, it is my sister's vision board. You probably are. Oh, still. it's your vision board. Okay, well that's good. I probably should stay off of it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, that's horrible. Carla's question is: How has quarantine been for you, and has it inspired you or given you more time to write new music? Are you finding yourself create more creatively yeah. during this uh, quarantine time? Um, well, two, there's two different answers to So yeah, I, I think quarantine has been really good for me. Um, in a sense of, you know, I'm very blessed that I could, I can stay home and I'm blessed that, you know, I have the time that I, I can like kind of work on myself and do some of the little tedious things that you don't think to do in your everyday life. Um, but yeah, I've been, I think it's been good for more of like me just, you know, focusing on myself and like, you know, what, working on some mental stuff, but musically, I've been I've been making a lot of beats, but not as much writing. My writing comes from like a lot of real world, you know, being inspired by certain interactions or situations. So being inside all day, you don't feel as inclined because I write music to connect with people. So in the time I'm not really connected with people, I'm not as uh, inspired to say something, but I'm making music every day. I mean, I made a song on Monday and it's out. So, yeah. That's, it's funny you said that because we said that we write a lot. I mean, obviously for our own show, but creatively, Anthony A is a... He's a stand-up comedian and automatically is a DJ and creatively being locked in the same space has been difficult for all of us. So yeah, we understand sure. what you're saying. Yeah. I think we're going to pass it to Kelly now. Is it Kelly? You guys are organized. I love this. Like <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Bozzy. How are you? I'm good. Ooh, look at you. got the fire burning. Ooh, Kelly. Right? The fake fire plays. Yo, you look about Fantastic. to go to TV. You got the bar. You got the liquor gun. I love it. Kelly, look yes, at you. Yes, so I'm Kelly K from 99.7 DJ in Louisville, and I've got a plus one, Amanda Hostetler. She's from Corridon. Say hi, Amanda. Hello. Hey, Amanda. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Trying to enjoy this Friday inside. Okay. 
So, Bozzy, we're coming out of left field with our question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hit me with it. I'm not going to lie. I got my son's Would You Rather book. Okay. So I'm giving you two really awful scenarios, and you have to pick the best one and why. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're drinking, so it's fine. Okay, perfect. Would you rather live in a world where toilet paper can talk and constantly comments on how bad you smell, or would you have to use a deodorant that bites you every time you use it? I could put up with the toilet paper because I actually usually commentate on myself. I'll be like, well, I'm, really, I'm really fucking disgusting. So um, I, think I, could, I think I could handle some, some negative toilet paper because I like my deodorant. You know, I get out of the shower, I feel clean. You know, I don't really like getting bit. So, yeah. That's fantastic. I love it. Ice, yeah. we're going to send it back to you. Yeah, who wants deodorant biting them in their armpits? Not me, man. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> I just oh gotta my look, God. look at the toilet paper and be like, you know, tell me something I don't know. You know, what I mean? <laughs> are, are you stocked up on toilet paper, Bozzy? Are you stocked up or what? You know what? I'm actually not because I'm one of, like, I feel like, I feel like I feel guilty about stocking up on it. So I, I'm trying to do my due diligence, you know, roll with the pack at a time. So <laughs> Anthony A says two words, sardine oil. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I want to know. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So, Bozzy, before we all cheers and all take a picture together, um, I've been asking a lot of people that, that we've been doing, you know, live chats with and Zoom chats with, what, did, what would you say to people watching this right now or, you know, people listening to you, you know, that, that may be struggling mentally or that are, you know, kind of going through this alone? Do you have any advice for them on how to kind of yeah. get through it? Yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, listen, these times are difficult and, you know, you can't deny that it, it takes a lot out of you just being alone and, you know, isolated all the time. Um, but I think perspective is the most important key in this time. And, you know, you can choose to look at this situation as something good rather than bad. And if you do choose that, you know, you can use this time to, to focus on the little things about yourself, um, to focus on your mental, to find time to go for a run, to find time to learn healthy recipes and maybe eat better, um, to call your parents, to stay in touch, you know, to do the little things you put off all the time because, you know, we're so distracted and busy and occupied in this in this fast moving fast paced world so in the time it slows down i'd say um you know take care of yourself do the little things you know you've always wanted to do but you know never had the time or or energy to do and you know use this time for that for sure absolutely i love that thank you for saying that that's awesome yeah all right so is everybody ready to we're shoot? ready and we're all going to take a screenshot together with bozzy for our zoom happy hour let's go so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do it. I know Sherry's. We're so lame. We're eating diet cherry. We're drinking diet cherry Seven Up. Sorry. Oh God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put, put, put some in there. You guys need a little kick in there. Seven Up kick. Put some in there a little bit. We'll put some in there a little bit. <laughs> I'm on right, the is everybody dude. holding up their drinks? Are we ready? Right, I got it. Okay. One, two, and three. Beautiful, you guys. Hey! Thank you guys for sharing your Friday with us. Thank you, Fozzie, for working so hard. Thank you for you guys for supporting his music. Thank you for the stations for supporting your music. We really we wouldn't be here without Seriously. it. Thank you for also, you know, encouraging something fun like this. It's nice to be able to have like a real conversation. And this feels really intimate, so I actually enjoyed it. Thanks for having Yay. me. Yay! We enjoyed it too. Bye. Yeah, have bye. a great Friday. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Bye. Stay healthy. Enjoy your Friday. Bye. Peace Girl, out. Build her husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>